And we're getting you some breaking news at this point in time where the Congress workers put up a missing posters of the BJP MLA Viru Pakshapa Mandal across Bengaluru. Well, those are the visuals on your screen where uh, there was a cash haul that took place. But now, of course, those uh, posters that have been put across by the Congress party workers throughout Bengaluru, where they have uh, said that the said BJP MLA is uh, missing and those missing posters have been put up by the Congress workers. And to get us more details, I'm joined by my colleague Neha. Neha, good morning. The Congress party workers have decided to up the ante and they have decided to now make it dramatic. They are posting uh, posters across for the missing BJP MLA. What does the BJP have to say about it? They have not been able to locate him, trace him. He's still absconding even as the matter is set to come up in the court today. Well, that's right. The Karnataka Congress here upping the ante against the government, going on to paste missing posters now of this MLA. As you can see, these posters have come up across the city at several important junctions as well. And very evidently over there, you know, these posters are suggesting that the Congress over here is now trying to take a dig at the BJP. Moreover, many of these posters also have the number of the police. In fact, you know, 100 written on it. Uh, you know, much like, of course, people would put up a missing poster for someone who's missing in this in this case too, you know, the Congress workers over here putting up these posters, urging people to come out and help locate this MLA over here in concern, because now, understandably so, the pressure on the government too is increasing. Today is the sixth day since this entire case came to light and since the cash was seized, since the MLA's son, in fact, was arrested. It's been about five days now, but we will really have to wait and see the anticipatory bail application of the MLA set to come up in the Karnataka High Court today. We'll have to wait and see how that pans out for the MLA and also for the government. Well, uh, thank you, Neha, for joining us and getting us all those uh, details. And we shall come back to you for more updates on the story.